Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm here to do a review on my new curling iron. As soon as I saw it in the store, I got it at Ulta, I just had to buy it. This is the Hot Tools Pink Titanium one and a quarter inch curling iron. So they had a lot of different ones and there was one that was really pretty, like the barrel had this like multicolor kind of metal. I was going to get that one because I obviously judge things by the way they look, but when I played with it in the store, the clamp, every time I did this, it would squeak really loudly and that would drive me crazy. Another thing was, they have so many curling irons and I wanted to get a ceramic or tourmaline one because it has ionic power so it's less damaging to the hair. And I used to work at a beauty supply store and I never thought I would purchase a curling iron that did not have ionic power. But here we are, um, with a non-ceramic, non-tourmaline curling iron, but I love the effect. I think as long as you're using a heat protector, it's okay. I use an Ojan heat protecting spray, which works fabulously. And this is the biggest curling iron I've ever owned. It's one and a quarter inches, like I said, and I used it today, and I did this about three hours ago, and it's still holding really well. I did not use any hairspray. I don't like to use hairspray because it leaves your hair feeling crunchy. And if it's on my first day hair, sometimes I don't wash, obviously I don't wash my hair every single day. So when I wake up the next morning, I still have the curls, but if I have hairspray in it, then it'll feel really gross after a night. Um, so that's why I don't use any styling products. So my first impression, today was my first day using it. It works just as well as any ceramic or uh, tourmaline curling iron and I've, I have quite a few of those and for a while I was using a curling wand. It wasn't so great because even with the glove, I don't know, it just wrapping your hair around, sometimes you don't get the end and then it straightens out at the bottom and I don't like that effect. But I had been using it for years and I just wanted to go back to a traditional curling iron. I feel like nothing works better than just a simple curling iron. But how do I feel about this? I think the curls are quite nice. I think I should have gone with the one inch and the bigger the barrel obviously the curls will be less tight and I was going to get the one inch but then I have a lot. Every curling iron I own is one inch and so I wanted to go for a different type of curl and also I figured on those lazy days when I don't want to spend as much time separating every section of hair into tiny pieces. I could just curl a bigger chunk because it's a bigger barrel, but I don't think that's really the case. It still, it took just as long. For me, it takes about um, 20 minutes to curl all my hair, but I have really thick hair. Every time I go to a hairstylist to get my hair cut or trimmed, they always take extra time. Um, it takes about twice as long to do my hair because they're layers after layers after layers. The issue with having a big barrel is that you have these kinds of curls where it kind of all winds together and when I used my flat iron to curl and my curling wand I didn't have this problem where the the curls would just kind of wind up together and become this one big giant spiral but I think it's a result of the barrel being so large and also when you use a curling iron you always want to curl in the direction um, where the clamp goes down so you want to go this way so you don't get a weird crease by curling it the opposite way so on one side I'm, I would curl all my hair in the same direction so when that happens you tend to get them spiraling together so that's what happened I don't I don't really mind that effect but it does look a little more um, I guess natural when they don't bundle up together. So, I mean, if you don't mind kind of just running your fingers through it a couple times every now and then, it would be fine. I mean, when I separate it, I really like the way it looks. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't have everything, right? Let me tell you guys, I got this for an excellent deal. Because every year around the holidays, Ulta sends a coupon for their reward members. Um, where you get 20% off of your entire purchase. So this curling iron is $50 and I got 20% off of it so it was about $40. When you purchase any of their pink titanium curling irons you get a free flat iron. And I don't have the flat iron with me but 
I might show it in another video. It's a one inch digital flat iron and that is a ceramic tourmaline plated flat iron. So for about $40 I got this curling iron and a digital ceramic tourmaline flat iron uh, by Hot Tools. So that was definitely the biggest deal I had all holiday season and I was just so stoked to try this out and let you guys know what I think of it. I highly recommend this curling iron and if you guys have tried any of the Hot, Tool curl Hot Tools curling irons, let me know what you think of it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.